Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and I have a little announcement for you guys before we get into everything. Um, but uh, here are the order instructions up on the screen in case you see anything you would like to purchase in today's video. We are going to be doing a number video. So in the email, please give me the number of the item and a brief description and price if you would like. Um, I can email you via PayPal. You do not have to have a PayPal in, um, account. I can still email the invoice to you and you can pay by any credit or debit card as a guest. Make sure you're looking at the sold list pinned in the comment section underneath the video so you can see which items are sold already before you email me. Um, you can refresh the video by going out of the video and coming back in and you will get the most updated list. All right, so now this little present so um, if you guys caught my newsletter, um, if you're not subscribed to my free newsletter, I will leave the link in the description box down below. Um, I also announced this a couple other places on my social media platform, so I will always leave those uh, in the description box as well. But um, this is Christmas week, so this is like that in-between week um, between Christmas and New Year's. And um, I am giving away a little Christmas gift to a little holiday gift, if you will, to everyone that makes a purchase this week. Um, so from now until um, the end of day, December 31st, um, if you if I send you an invoice and you pay, you will get a five dollar credit to use on your first purchase of 2024. So I will put all the rules down in the description box for you, but you can only get one credit. So even if you buy something, because I have three things going on this week, if, even if you buy something from all three uh, videos, uh, you only get one $5 credit. Um, you can't you know, give it to somebody else, it's non-transferable, it's only valid on merchandise. So it has to be valid on something $5 or more. It cannot be valid on shipping. So, um, and then if you already have a credit with me, you can only use one credit at a time. So um, just make sure, you know, for the new year, you're using all your credits before they expire and you can only use one at a time. Um, so basically, like for example, if you want something from this video, I send you an invoice, you pay it, I will let you know that you got $5 credit for your first purchase of 2024. I will keep a list and it won't expire. These, these gifts, these $5 credits do not expire. It'll just be automatically applied to your first purchase of 2024. Um, so I think that's it. And um, that's just my little my little thank you, my little gift to you guys. Um, I wish I could afford to give everybody a $5 credit, but um, that's why when I do my giveaways during my live sales, I try to give away like a bunch of them, like five, four or five $5 credits, and those are available to everybody. Okay, so um, this video, we're gonna do, um, two different clearance sections. So we're gonna go through the Thread Up jewelry from last week, and we're going to clearance those items out. And then we will go into some sterling from last week, clearance those items out. And then we will dive into a brand new um, jewelry lot that we're gonna go through together. All right, so first things first, now, I know I've showed this a few times, but I took off the pendant. This was that fossil, new with tag necklace that had the um, shield that you can like uh, engrave if you wanted, but it had some scratches on it. I figured, you know, why not just maybe remove the shield? Maybe that's what was deterring you guys from purchasing it. And now you have a beautiful silver tone chain, popcorn chain. Well, it's not really popcorn. It's kind of like, it's almost like a Rolo, I guess you would say. Um, and now you can put any pendant on it. 
So um, I did have to open up the bale to get it off because all of this is very large um, to get the, the pendant through. So you are gonna have to do that if you have a pendant for it, you'll have to open up the bale. But I thought maybe now somebody would want this because I mean, it's brand new. And if you need a chain, here you go. So again, this was, let me see. This was like 19 inches and then you have an extender. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna make it, um, I have to figure out like a number system for this one. Let's just do, let me see here. I should have prepared this a little bit better. Sorry guys. So let's do this one. Um, We'll just say chain, we'll just say chain. All right, uh, we'll say F, C for fossil chain. <laughs> Does that make sense? And we'll do $10. So F, C for fossil chain, and it'll be $10. All right, so maybe um, that will help me get this guy a new home. All right, so that's the first order of business. Let me get my... Uh, been a little closer so I can reach it. All right, so let's go through the thread up jewelry from last week quickly. And let's see, so we're gonna change the number system a little bit. So here is the first item. It was the Kate Spade, beautiful gold tone and clear rhinestone earrings. They are a bigger stud, as you can see brand new on card. So I had these for $20. We're going to do C for clearance. T U one. So C T U one and we'll drop them to $15. Okay. And I will put this back in the bag because you get the little dust bag with it. So C T U one $15. And then we got, I'm shocked nobody bought this Swarovski necklace. I can't believe I actually fit it in this bag. <laughs> so this is the um, rhodium plated silver tone pave crystal heart. I believe it was 18 inches, new in box. $30 was a huge steal to begin with. I'll lower it a little bit. C to you too. We'll do 25. Otherwise, I'm listing it online for probably about, I don't know, 45 to 50, somewhere around there. So grab the deal while you can. C to you too. Number 20, I mean, $25. And I'm not even going to put that back in the bag because it took me a long time to figure that out last time. All right, so here we are. This one I think was an Avon branded chain. Yeah, Avon with the geode, the little agate. It does have a teeny little knot in the chain. It is about, a, maybe about a 17 inch chain. It might be 18, but because of that little knot, I can't really check it out, but we're going to do C to you three, ten dollars. Okay. This was the Michael Kors new with tag ring. It is in a rose gold with the clear rhinestones. Where's my, where's my mandrel? So this is a, I would say this was about a five and three fourths. Okay. And we had this for 20. This is CTU five. We'll do 15, okay. This one was, I think this one was sterling. Let me just check, yeah. This one said sterling and 
CN, which is usually China. So this one is sterling with the um, Pave clear stones, and this one's a seven and a half. Pretty cool. So this one is C CTU8, and we're gonna do 15 on that as well. Oh, I think we're a little out of order because I this one is six, but that's okay. This one I believed was just gold tone. Gold tone with the uh, clear crystals all the way around. And this one is about, I would just stick with a seven on that. And this one will be CTU6, and we'll do $8. Okay. All right. And then we had number 10 is the Madewell chain. Really nice condition. Madewell, large link kind of like a square Rolo link necklace. It's 16 inches with a three inch extender. I'm shocked nobody grabbed that. CTU 10, $10, that's a steal you guys. CTU 10, $10. If nobody grabs that, I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right, this is going to be 11. So these are the three unbranded gold tone bangles with the clear crystals. And these were a size seven and three fourths. Seven and three fourths, excellent condition. CTU 11. And look at this. We're going to go 10 bucks, you guys. That's an insane deal. CTU 11, 10 bucks. All right, then we have this guy. This is the little gold tone pave rhinestone butterfly on the dainty chain. It was a 15 inch chain with a two inch extender. So I would say it can go to about 17 inches. And we had this one. This one is gonna be CTU 14 for $8, okay? CTU 14, $8. Um, then we had the Stella and Dot. Beautiful Stella and Dot feather um, cuff bracelet, gold tone, excellent condition. This one is a six and a half. And this one's going to be CTU 16 for $10. And then, if you guys remember what the last one was, the Alex Bitar, Alexis, sorry, Alexis Bitar, beautiful handmade Lucite bangle with the gold tone um, connector bangle underneath it. This one, I believe when I showed it, it was going upwards of $150, something like that. This one is so stinking cool. Um, this is a six and three fourths inch. I am contemplated keeping it, but it's just a little bit big on me. I don't really like bangles to be like halfway up my arm. Um, I'm usually good at about a six and a half, but six and three fourths. I will offer this one more time and then it's getting listed um, for probably 150. So CTU 15, I'm only gonna drop it a little bit, but $85. Any little bit helps, right? 
Alexis Bitar, look it up. His stuff goes for big bucks. All right. <clears throat> now let's switch gears to do some... Um, 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 um. Let me get it all out here. Clarence Sterling. And then we will jump into a jewelry lot. All right, so let's go through this stuff. Okay, so these will not be, well, I guess I could try to put them in the order that they were. Um, okay, so like this one. So this one will be C1 for clearance. This is the gray Druzy and sterling silver ring. These were all shown last week. This is a size seven. Is that even coming through clear enough? All right, and we had it for $20. So C1 will be $15. C1 for clearance number one. <clears throat> Let's see, I don't know if I'll be able to find the numbers in order. Here's two, okay. So this will be C2 for clearance two. And this is the state home um, sterling silver necklace. Let me get a total length measurement for you. It is 16 inches. 16 inches on this one. And C2, and we'll drop that to $15. Okay, C2, $15. Oh, fix that because it's in the wrong order already. Right, here's three. Nope, that's not three. Oh, it is it? No, that's not right. Ay, ay, ay. I see. It could have been sold too. So we're just gonna go with number four, and it's gonna be C four, and this was the kind of like Asian medallion style. Pendant, really cool. Definitely super unique on a um, sterling box chain. This one is 16 inches. Really, that's a heavy piece right here. So C4, let's drop it to $35. C4, $35. All right, let's do, trying to find, at least in some kind of order here. Here's number 10, so let's do that. Oh no, here's number nine, let's do that one. So this is C9. If they're, if they're a little bit out of order, I'm sorry. As long as you got the right number to claim it, you're good. So this was the Sterling and Mystic Topaz, okay? Um, even though the Mystic part is just a finish on the stone, it will still, and as you saw in the video, it will still um, test as Topaz. So it's Topaz and CZ and Sterling Silver, and it is on a dainty box chain measuring in at 18 inches. So this is C9. I mean, look at this, you guys. I mean, this is so cheap. You can't even get a chain for that price. So jump on it, jump on it. C9, $20. And where was 10? Here's 10, so it's gonna be C10. And this one was the diamond and double heart sterling silver ring very beautiful 
size seven. All right, so C10, we'll drop it to 40. C10, $40, size seven. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. I think this is number fifth. Oh no, here's number 14. So let's do that. So this will be C14. And it is earrings. These are sterling silver. One ring, one circle has like a um, brushed texture to it. Let's see if I can get a measurement. They do come with sterling backs. These measure one and three fourths inch. So these are C14 and we'll do them for $20. C14, $20. Sterling silver. And I know I messed up that, that day, I think it was. Um, or these could be from other videos too. I don't think this was just from La the one from last week. So let me get a new bag for this one because this one is small and the the number is going to be wrong. So um, we're going to do this one's going to be um, you know what? Let's hold off on this one then. Let's do this one next. This one is number 15. This was the 10 karat gold and CZ little teeny um, post. They have a little dangle to them. Okay, beautiful 10 karat gold C15, $40. That's like unheard of, you guys. And it came in this little bag. 14 karat gold, really beautiful. Comes with the twist back. So C15, $40. Um, here's 16, so this will be C16, this was just a chain, so this is a sterling silver 18 inch new with card, new with tag chain, <laughs> that's funny, so 18 inches sterling silver chain C16, $18. That's such a good deal, you guys. So C16, 18 inch chain for $18. Um, here's 17. So this will be C17. This is the uh, Vermeil. So it is sterling silver with a gold wash. CZ and blue sapphire marked to the back. The chain was a little bit lighter and missing a little bit of the verme on the back. Um, but it's, you know, it's at the back of the neck. So overall, it's not bad. Um, if you want to change the chain out, you can, but I do not have a verme to change it out with for you, unfortunately. It's an 18 inch chain. Um, so C17, and we'll do that for 30, okay? All right. Um, all right, let's do this one now. So this one will be C18, and this is the um, Genuine Pearl and... Sterling silver, large, Indian style ring, beautiful. It is a size six. A nice honking piece of sterling here. Um, oh crap, what did I have this priced at? Hold on, I threw out the little bag but didn't look at the price. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. It was $28. So we're going to do a good deal. We're going to do 20 bucks. Okay, C18, 20 bucks. 
size six. All right, I don't think we had a C19, so we'll make it this one. C19. <clears throat> and this was the Topaz. Whoops, it came off the thing. Blue Topaz. Sterling Silver. Oh, I think I added this chain. That's what it was. Um, and the chain does have an extender. It can go from 16 and a half to 18 inches. Sterling silver chain with the blue topaz pendant. C19, $25. I hardly ever see sterling chains with an extender. So grab it. C19, 25 bucks. Um, then we have, okay, um, there wasn't a number 20, so we'll make this number 20. So C20. And this was the beautiful, I mean, ginormous sterling and marcasite butterfly brooch. This can totally be a pendant too. You can feed a chain right through here. And how gorgeous would that be? Um, so it is Sterling C20, $25. <clears throat> All right, 21 is right here. So this is going to be C21. And this was the Sterling and I think this was the Sapphire, pink Sapphire. Yes because it was marked as ruby, but it's actually sapphire. So this is the pink sapphire, sterling silver on a sterling silver box chain. Beautiful. It is a 18 inch chain. So C21, $25. These are great deals, you guys. I don't know where you're gonna get Sterling silver for this price. Um, that was 21. Here's 22. So it's C22. C22. And this was the super duper cute. Oh, I forgot if this. Oh, no, not diamond. This is CZ and Sterling Infinity Band. Such a cute pinky ring. So that was at 30, we'll do 20. C, 22, $20. Oh, I didn't measure it, hold on. I think that was a size six. Yeah, sorry, size six. <laughs> you guys are like, wait, we need the size. Sorry, sorry. C, 22, $20, size six. Here's 23, so it's C, 23. These were the uh, Vermeil and CZ hoop earrings and they had the stones oh no these were the diamonds these had a few diamonds in them I think there were two in each earring and then the rest were illusions so these are nice Vermeil with the diamond hoops so we had those at 30 <laughs> you guys these are heavy, they're not like super heavy, but you'll feel them on your ear. These are not hollow. So you're getting sterling, solid sterling with a gold wash and diamonds for $25, what? So C23, $25. And then here's C24. And this was the really, really, really cool ring. Don't start, Dally. You were being good this whole time. <laughs> um, it is sterling. It is a little bit adjustable. Um, the designer, I think someone had said it was con plot. So really cool. It has crystals in each of the little like floral openings. <laughs> And this is sitting at a seven. 
but you can open it up a little bit. I wouldn't open it too much. Um, maybe seven and a quarter, seven and a half. Um, so C24 and we'll do 40, okay? All right, so that was the um, clearance section. So let's grab the lot for this week. There's a little sneak peek. Um, I did not really go through it. Um, I kind of looked at it as I was unboxing it and putting it into this bag, but I did not like go through it, you know, fully. If that's, you know, if you, if uh, that makes sense. Um, here are the ordering instructions before we continue. Make sure you are checking the sold list. That is most important. Um, so you know what's still available. Um, okay, so let's, this is also down in the description box. So let's start, let's pull out a little pile. And let's grab some bags. So now these are just going to be regular numbers. So like we're going to start out with just regular number one. <laughs> Oh, and first up, we have a tangle. You know what? Can we just open up this bracelet? Okay. This is Juicy Couture. So cute. You have the little dangle lock. There is a little bit of gold tone loss on the little spot here that's jingling around. You have like the iridescence mermaid. Everything else looks really nice. You have the little button that you press to open up the hinge. And it is a size seven. So for the Juicy Couture, it is number one, and we will do $8. That's really cool. Number one, $8. Oops, so we have some stuff here. Okay, so this looks like Oh, I don't know if that's amber. Yeah, it could be that amber that they, um, what is it called? Reconstituted? Where they, like, melt it down and distribute it and, like, across, like, more and mold it and stuff. I don't exactly know how it works completely, but could be something like that. This, oh, it does say amber right on it. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. So amber 12K gold filled. And I don't know what that says down there. GH or GU or gilded. Maybe it means guild, like gilded. And then I think the chain might just be gold tone. But it's like that little ball, that little teeny dainty ball chain. So let's open it up and get a nice total length measurement. 16 inches. So on the gold filled gilded amber necklace, it's number two. And we will do $14. It's pretty cool. Number two, $14. Okay, this is going to be three. We'll do a little bundle here. We'll do two of these. Do like a little stack. Look at that. That's cute, right? So you get a plain silver tone square bangle with a twisted silver tone bangle. This one is seven and three fourths inch. And this one is 8 inch, so that will look very nice stacked on the wrist. So number 3, and we will do $6. Number 3, $6. All right, this is going to be 4. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I don't really like how it looks like it's missing some. Almost like a cloisonne, but it's like, 
Yeah, I don't really like how that looks. So we're gonna do this one for a dollar in crafting. So just give me the timestamp if you would like it. It's a size seven and a half, it's probably brass, but it looks like it's missing, like it's starting to come out. So one dollar, give me the timestamp for that. This one is silver tone and you have pink and purple rhinestones. It just looks like it needs a nice wipe down. Um, I don't see any maker marks. It is a hinged clamper bangle and it is a size seven. So this is number four and we will do that for $5. Number four, $5. Um, this will be number five. Let's do the ring. So we have some clear stones. This one looks like it might be a little bit discolored. I'm not exactly sure what happened to that one. Let me see if we can get a closer look here. Maybe it's just dirty. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, ex or maybe it was replaced and got dirty. I'm not exactly sure. But it might be able to be cleaned. I should have just kept uh, the magnifier up because let's read it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that says Korea. Okay. So it's just gold toned. Very nice condition except for the little doo-doo on the one stone there. It is a size eight. Um, let me just see if there were any other markings because I thought I saw something on the other side. Oh, it says eight on the other side. <laughs> okay, so size eight on the Korea ring. It is pretty. Number five, and we'll do that for $10. Number five, $10. That's a good stacker ring too. You can uh, wear that with other rings. All right, so now we're at number six, and we'll do this guy. This is a silver tone. Um, actually, ooh, okay, that maybe was gold tone. Yeah, that to me is not necessarily a wearable piece. It is, it is very discolored. It's a size six and a half, so we'll just do that for a dollar in crafting. Give me the timestamp. Um, let's see what this is. Ooh, ooh la la. So this is a ring. Let's turn on a pressy. And it says 14 karat gold high grade electroplate L I N D. So I believe the L I N D is the designer. I love the setting of this, how you can see the bottom of the stone. So pretty. This is definitely something you would want to wear on vacation. So you don't, like in place of your ring, so you don't lose it, God forbid. Um, so let's see, let's wait for Parisi. I'm gonna guess it's either gonna be glass or CZ. Hopefully she doesn't need new batteries. Come on, little mama. Well, it's a wakey uppy. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so she is CZ. I definitely think I'm gonna need new batteries, but that's okay. All right, so let's Give her a measurement. She is larger. She's about, I would stick with a 10 on this one. So a 10, very large, CZ, beautiful, beautiful. So I'll keep it in the box for you. Size 10, high grade electroplate, 14 karat high grade electroplate. And it will be $25. All right, number six, $25. Oh, okay. The 
see this little guy in here. I'm just going to pull this out right now. This is just a little like coin purse. It has Thailand on it. Cute little fabric coin purse. Okay, this one, number seven. And we'll just do it for four dollars. Okay, number seven, four dollars. Um, this looks like it might be a single earring, so we'll leave this over here for now. And then this guy looks like a pendant. Um, and this one is going to be number eight. This is really pretty. This is just silver tone, but it's got a nice big open bail. Very pretty open work with the flowers. Number eight, and we will do that for $5. Let's see what else we got in this little bag of goodness. All right, I don't like that bag, so we're gonna switch it out. And this is gonna be number um, nine. And this looks like a pendant necklace. It does say something there on the thumb of the clasp. Gold filled. Let's see what the other side says. 120th. I don't know if it's 12K, 14K, it's something, but it is gold filled. And then you have the really pretty pendant with the blue beads on it. So that's cool. So the drop on the necklace on the chain is, it's a uh, 16 inches, so it's an eight inch drop. Very pretty, number nine, $10. All right, this one will be number 10. There's three things in here, so we'll, we'll separate them. We'll just do this one first. Ooh, this is pretty. This has like rounded um, stones and it has a double safety, which is great. And then it opens up And it says PAJ925. Okay, so again, if it, I will test it after the video. And if it is not 925, I will have a price adjustment on the screen. And these are probably CZs. Yes, these are CZs. Oh, FedEx is here. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. So this is CZ. Um, I had to uh, pause the video because Dallas started to go cray cray. Okay, so it is a seven and a half inch sterling silver and CZ beautiful like tennis style bracelet. And it is number 10. And we will do that for $25. Beautiful. You can wear it on its own or with others. So that's number 10. Number 11. Let's pick out a little bit smaller of a bag here. 11. So it looks like we have a Pandora style bracelet. It says reflection beads. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think that this is sterling, but that's really pretty. Hold on, let's see if we can get in here. Oh, it is an AL, it is ALE though. That's um, Pandora. I'm not gonna be able to get in here, are I? Am I? Nope. 
Nope, they're too small. So I'm wondering, oh, it just came right off. So then no, this probably is not a Pandora bracelet. Let's, let's look it up. So let's look up reflection bead, reflection beads bracelet. Yeah, okay. Oh, it does say it's sterling silver. Okay. They're going for about $25 with no um, charms. Oh, wait. I saw Brighton, but that's that's different. So it is sterling. All right. Let's look at solds and see what they're actually selling for. Uh, like 30 they don't really have a plain one but let's just say around 25 to 30 dollars I'll sell that separate um, this one is a size 7 so this is a size seven. So I will sell just that plane. And how you open it is you, um, or how you clasp it, I should say, is you open up this section here and you place the end in and then you close it. So seven inches on this one, and we will do number 11, we'll do $20. $20, and number 11, seven inches. And we'll do, um, this will be number 12. So now I wonder if I can search this, and, and it'll tell me what stones it is, because I can't get in there with my Presidium. Pandora, let's see, Pandora paw print charm. So it's, it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't tell you what stones are in there. Cubic zirconia, so CZs. I figured, but you know, you just want to make sure. And um, they're going for around like the 20-ish mark, $20-ish mark. Some of them are more like 55 because they're brand new. Um, let me go look at some solds. Uh, none of these. So 34, but it's new, 35 new. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, 25 pre-owned. Okay. So let's do this one. Um, number 12, we'll do 20 on that as well. Okay, 20 bucks for the little um, Pandora charm. It is marked A-L-E-925. Okay, <clears throat> next up will be number 13. Now that's this one. This one is Pandora. Boom, right there. And on this one, you have all these charms, and I'm going to sell it as is. So you can take the charms off if you want and sell, resell them or whatever. Um, this one says, I love you. It has some stones and it says you and me, A-L-E-925. So that's definitely um, Pandora. Then I have this one on here, which is, oh, what does that say? That looks, looks a little worn. Uh, yeah. Um, you are 
something in my heart. And that one's Pandora. And then you got this one, which is a cholest uh, cholesterol, geez, Louise, celestial uh, zodiac. I'm not sure what that one means. I know this is like super, oh, this it's um, Virgo. I know this is super specific. So maybe I should take the charms off. And then, oh, and the back says mother. Yeah, maybe we should take these off. They're a little specific, huh? That's fine, we can take them off. So I will do the bracelet by itself then. I like this one because it has the um, heart, the heart closure. It's not just like the regular round one. And these are all sterling silver. This one's seven inches. But remember, when you start putting the charms on them, they it gets smaller, okay? Like all this, um, width on here so this is seven inches i will sell this by itself um let's see if we can find some information on it pandora heart clasp bracelet um this is the moments it looks like They're going for about 40 bucks, which is kind of crazy because I definitely thought Pandora was more money than that. <laughs> Weird. Um, so seven inches. This is number 13. And I will do um I will do $35. Okay, so number 13, $35, seven inches. And then we'll do the charms. Oops, I put that in the right spot. Okay. So there were three charms and we get three baggies and it's going to be 14, 15, and 16. And first up we'll do the I love you, you and me. I mean, this could be great for like a couple too, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, you name it. They all matter. So you got this one with the, let's see if I could get in here. No, all right. Well, this one will be number 14 and it will be $18. We'll do, we'll do them all for 18, I guess. All right, number 14, $18 for the double heart you and I. 15 will be the mother, and I'm not quite sure what it said on the back, or on the front, rather. So this is number 15, and we're going to do $18 as well. And then 16 is the Virgo. It's easy. But it's like a yellowy color, green color. This one's actually cool. I love the open, like, star work. That's cool. So, yeah, this one, number 16, will be $18 as well. Okay. I'm going to do 17. No, this is just a little baggy. Um... I'll do this for a dollar if anybody wants it. Okay, so give me the timestamp on that. One dollar. Still waiting for that guy. Oh, cool. This is a skeleton with like a little top hat. Silver tone. All of the rhinestones are there. It's a brooch. So we'll do number 17 and we'll do him. We'll do him for five bucks. Number 17. All right, these are getting a little out of order. Hang on, guys. They're spilling over. All right. 
So that was number 17. We're going to do number 18 now, and we're going to grab another little handful. So we have a pretty gold tone bangle with some blue stones. They are just acrylic. No maker marks. This is a size eight and a half, eight and a half inches. Um, this bag isn't gonna fit in there. All right, hold on a second. Let me switch out the bag. This will be number 18. And we'll do that for $3. All right, number 18, $3 on the eight and a half inch bangle. All right, then number 19 will be this. Is that a Star of David? Looks like it's a, um, like enamel painted, maybe. Hmm, that's pretty cool. And then you have, oops, I had it wrong. Hold on. There we go. So this is definitely sterling. Don't see any marks though, but it's definitely sterling. Very cool. So let's give you a total length measurement. It is only 14 and a half inches though. So it's only 14 and a half inches, but it's very beautiful. Number 19, and we will do it for um, 20 bucks. Number 19, 20 bucks. All right, now we're gonna do numero 20 for 20. We'll do this little horse, he's cute. He's got black enamel and all those different color rhinestones, gold tone. This one says FL. Hmm. What does FL mean? FL horse brooch. Let's ask eBay. Hmm. Nope. I don't see it. Oops. Nope. All right, well, that's okay. Maybe we'll try a Google image search and then I'll just give you a price if this fails. Oh, whoa. No way, that's not it. Ha, I wish, right? I wish that was the right one. No. No, it's not it. Oops, it's not it. Unfortunately, it is not. No, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it is what it is. So for the horse head brooch, number 20, we will do $10. It is in very good condition and it is designer marked FL, whoever that is. All right, so number 21 will be this one. This is pretty. This has the X silver tone with the little pave rhinestones there. It's got like this um, black cord, black, like it's like a cable almost. Very good condition, no maker marks. It is a seven inch, number 21, and we will do that for $8. Beautiful. Number 22. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Look at that. It's a little butterfly with some marcasite. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. It is a pendant. I do not see any maker marks. It could be sterling. However, there are no marks. So we will do a quick test. And we shall see for ourselves. Ow, tis not. And now I don't have anything to clean it with. Hang on. Un momento, por favor. So it is just silver tone, still beautiful, pendant, number 22, $5. Very cute, love it. Number 23, let's do this guy. This looks old, very cool brooch it says oh something germany oh made in germany west yeah so that's cool it looks like it's a little dirty it needs needs a little bit of help but it's still pretty cool so number 23 we'll just do for five dollars still pretty cool though number 23 five dollars uh, this one already has a bag, so we'll do this one. Number 24. And this looks like a snowflake brooch. It is unsigned. It has all the rhinestones. It's very pretty and in very good condition. So that's number 24, $5. That's pretty. Needs a little bit of a cleanup. Blue enamel leaf brooch. Gorgeous. Number 25, $5. Number 26. Oh, here's that other earring. Let's do those. So these are um, little like ear hugger earrings. So you can wear them two ways. You can wear them with just the stud or you can wear them with the little jacket on, the little ear jacket, and this will sit under the earlobe. That's cool, right? Let's see if there are any maker marks on these guys. Other side. I don't believe so. They are not magnetic. Hmm. I don't think that they are gold though. No, I don't think they're gold. Nope. Okay, so very pretty. They are CZs though. So for those, they're number 26. We'll do $5. And you get two earrings in one. Number 26, $5. <sighs> Number 27, eight. All right, so number 27, this, oh, geez Louise, looks like a pendant 
um, we're missing some stones here. All right, we're missing some stones on this one, so the pendant will just be $1. Give me the timestamp. This is the uh, Etne, Etne Anye. Little, I guess, charm or pendant or whatever you want to do with it. Um, it's number 27, it's silver tone and we will do it for $3, number 27. Number 28 will be this ring. This looks like it was like a vermeil or gold tone at one point, but um, a lot of the gold has come off. It's actually not marked, so it's probably just gold tone. So it's kind of like a two-tone now. <laughs> Wavy ring, size six and three-fourths. It's in good structural condition though. So number 28, and we will do that for $4. Number 28, $4, six and three fourths. All right, now we have number 29. Uh, I'm just writing out some baggies that I have in front of me. Okay, so number 29 is this. This is a little um, butterfly pendant with some faux abalone and rhinestones. Really pretty, nice condition though. Number 29, and that will be $3. Um, number 30 will be this guy. That's really pretty. Gold tone and silver tone, kind of like a rope design with the clear stone. Definitely just costume, size six and a half. Nice condition though. Number 30, and we will do that for $5. Um, let me get another Ugh, bin. All right, number 31 is this last one here. So this says Chanel, but I'm thinking that this is not real. Chanel made in Italy. It looks very sloppy. And it's missing something right here, and it's missing something here. Let's just see what comes up when I type in Chanel keychain. Yeah, I don't really, actually they're not as expensive as I thought they would be. <laughs> but I don't see any that look like the one we have. Okay. So yeah, we have a faker. So, um, as is, I will do this one for $5, number 31. All right, here's the last of this lot. And we're up to 32. Thirty-three and thirty-four. Okay, that's really pretty. This is definitely um, like a ceramic sea clay. Let's look that up because I'm unfamiliar with that sea clay brooch. Mm. There's that one for 20, 13, eh. All right, so for this one, we will do a number 32 and it's $5, really pretty. Number 33, I don't know what this is. Let's hold on to that for a second. Let's do this, relic. And it's got these little Acrylic cabochons. Oh, let me fix this. What's going on here with that? Mm. 
I don't know what happened. All right, well, I'll have to fix that because it should look like this. I think it got a little twisted up. Well, I can't sell it if I can't fix it, right? So I'll have to see if I can fix that part of it and get it running. Let's see if I can get a measurement out of it. Six and a half, so it is very small. Six and a half inches. As long as I can fix it and get the battery running, it's number 33, and we will do $8. All right, it's in pretty good shape, the browns and stuff. So I'm going to actually leave this out so I can possibly fix that. So number 34, let's do like a little lot. So 34, we'll do this pendant. We'll do this pendant. And we'll do this little guy, whatever that is. So you got three fur right here. Number 34, and we will do $4 on the lot. And that was 34, so 35. Let's do this guy. That's pretty, little purple plastic cabochon. No maker marks, so we'll do that one. This one has some wear, but I think it looks pretty good. Very little wear on this one. The inside has the most wear. It's like a matte gold tone ring. It's a size nine and a quarter, so that will go in the lot. So we'll do those two little items, um, number 35, and it'll be $4. Let's see about number 36. And we have 37, 38. Okay, so let's do this one. That's a little tree pendant. You'll probably need a jump ring for that. So we'll put that in the in this little lot and we'll do this guy. Little gold tone pendant. So we'll do those two, number 36. And we'll do those for five dollars. Number thirty number thirty-six, five dollars. Excuse me. This is like one of those um, Italian horn charms. I don't think that this is gold. No. It is very cool, though. I like it. Um, so we'll do that for $5, number 37. Number 38, this is like a matte gold tone it looks like. Don't see any markings. That one's not magnetic. Mm, we can do a quick test for gold on this one. We'll test it for 10K because if it doesn't hold, that means it's not gonna be 14K. Okay. And we can also do sterling too, really quick. In case it's for May, but I don't think so. It looks like it's got some um, copper showing through. No. All right, so it's not sterling and it's not gold. So, oops, this one is number 38. 
and it will be five dollars for the little I mean that's really pretty though I like that a lot number 38 five dollars and then lastly 39 these are rice pearls Mm, I don't know if I see anything on the posts, but let's see. Not there. Oh, wait, I think I see something on the bottom. Mm, where did I maybe just see? Did I just see? Oh, I, I think I did right here. I hate looking at the post. It's so hard because they're so small and then they like twist and turn and stuff. Ooh, look at that, 14K. 14K posts, it might even, these might even be 14K, I don't know. We can test. So let's test the post. I'll move, I'll move it up, just give me one second. And then we're gonna test these little guys down here. Whoops, oh, I don't wanna mess up the pearl, so hang on, that might be a little difficult. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna risk scratching the pearl, let me see. All right, I think I could get a little scratch right there. All right, in the 14K. I'm gonna have to get a new 14K. This one is, it feels like it's got gunk all over it. Like it's um maybe leaked. We leave that for a second, but I think we are um, positive because it's still holding, still holding strong. I'm just cleaning up my little desk while I have the wipe out. Yeah, so I think we're good. I think that is definitely um, 14K. It's also 14K on these little balls right here. So that's excellent. Whoops, I don't want it to fall off the table. The uh, square here. All right, so we're good. So um, these are beautiful. So you got 14K all over this little baby. These are beautiful rice pearls. Uh, let's give you a little drop measurement. So these are one and a quarter inches drop, number 39. Those are so pretty. And then you can kind of like, you know, bend them in to make them however you want to look. So number 39, let's do them for 50. Five zero beautiful fourteen k marked rice pearl earrings number thirty nine fifty dollars. All right, guys, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, um, you know, I feel like I didn't really do that much, but I did have all the clearance stuff. So, all right, so let's bring this back up on the screen here, and remember, um, every purchase made this week through 1231 so you have to actually pay the invoice you can't just you know ask for an invoice and then wait till after the 31st <laughs> um so you will get a five dollar credit on your first purchase of 2024 only one credit per person and if you already have credits with me you can only use one credit at a time um, i will put all the um rules in the description box they're non-transferable and they have to be used on actual merchandise and not shipping um and so this week we have this video um on thursday which is the 28th i will be having a clearance end of year 
jewelry auction at 7 p.m. with just myself and Kyle moderating. Um, it'll be all sterling silver, or at least mostly, mostly sterling silver jewelry. All start bids will be at $10 or less. And, um, and then Friday is the 29th, which is the usual purse sale video. Um, I might squeeze in um, a bonus video here or there this week, depending. Um, so keep a lookout, make sure you're subscribed, click the bell to all so you're notified every time I make a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope your holidays are, um, have been great and will continue to be great into the new year. And I will see you in the next one.